February 17th of 2009 is the day all television signals will be sent only in digital. If you're a cable or satellite customer, or if you already have a digital TV, the switch shouldn't have any negative impact on you. But about 500,000 Wisconsin households get television signals over the air using an antenna or rabbit ears on an analog television. If you're one of them, you have a few options. You can subscribe to cable or satellite, buy a new television with a digital tuner, or purchase a digital converter box that will be hitting store shelves very soon. Those converter boxes will cost about $50 to $70, but the federal government will give you up to two $40 coupons to help you with that cost. Any of these options will mean you won't have any problems. Now one thing to keep in mind is that even after the digital switchover, just because the signal you're watching will be in digital doesn't necessarily mean that it's in HD. Digital is how the signal is being sent out um, and transferred into our homes. High definition is the picture quality that the show or the programming is being filmed in. You can purchase a TV with a digital tuner that doesn't show what's called high definition television. It's going to be a better picture than the analog and probably better sound. But if they go the, the next step and purchase a high definition television, they're going to see just a dramatic result in picture quality. So let's review. A digital signal will provide you with better picture and sound quality than an analog signal. That's what everyone will see starting about a year from now. But you'll need an HD TV, short for high definition television, to get the best possible quality. An HD set will show you brighter, deeper colors and more detail, as long as the program you're watching is being filmed in HD. And those programs are becoming more common. You're going to see more and more uh, programming in HD. That's what, that's what customers want, and we're working very hard to free up the bandwidth to, to have more HD programming available for folks. Many programs on News Channel 7 are already being broadcast in HD meaning if you have an HD TV, you're getting the best picture and sound this new technology offers, and it's available for free over the air. But if you don't have an HD TV and don't want to buy one, that's fine too. Despite what some salespeople may try to tell you, it's not required. Any television with a digital tuner, converter box, or connection to a cable or satellite service will continue to work just fine for the foreseeable future. And there's more good news for News Channel 7 viewers. Once your TV is capable of showing digital signals, you'll be able to watch two more of our channels. Channel 7-1 is what you're watching right now. 7-2, the My TV network, features a variety of entertainment programming. On my network TV. And Channel 7-3, our 24-7 weather channel, offers local weather forecasts 24-7. Or digital channel 7-3. News Channel 7 is working to make sure you'll receive the benefits of digital television. Next February, we'll be boosting our signal strength significantly to bring our stations to more of you than ever before. I hope this series of special reports has made the switch to digital TV something for you to look forward to rather than worry about. And if you need to brush up, you can find my reports and much more information at our web channel, WSAW.com. For News Channel 7, I'm Michael Laubert.